What's up guys and welcome back to my Campervan Builder YouTube channel. So this should be part 4 of a Mercedes minibus campervan conversion that I'm trying to document week by week as I go along showing the progress that I managed to get done on weekends as I'm working on the bus. So parts 1, 2 and 3 I've managed to get all the flooring up, all of the headlining down, I've managed to get two solar panels mounted on the roof and now while I've got full access to all of the chassis area of the uh, conversion now it's all being fully wax oiled and painted and protected I'm going to be mounting two water tanks to the main chassis beams themselves this is a 100 litre fresh water tank and a 70 litre waste tank as well now I'm not going to be running the plumbing in this episode this is just more a case of getting them mounted while I've got good access to the chassis area and I might also be able to start mounting the underslung gas tank as well but I think that's probably going to be in the next episode but that's something else that's going to be coming up on the channel soon as well so to get these mounted I've got some threaded bar that I'm going to be securing through to the chassis beams themselves dropping down beneath the tanks and then I'll be using some securing uh, U-bracing to mount the tanks up onto the threaded bar and that will provide plenty of secure mounting area for both the tanks and we'll just see how we get on with this episode. As I say, it should be relatively straightforward and easy to get them mounted. It'll be a lot easier than the last water tank that I fitted in the last conversion because I did oversize the last tank, so I sort of learned from that one. I've ordered a more reasonable sized tank because the last one I fitted a 250 litre tank, which was just huge in comparison to this one. So I'm gonna get some tools out, some safety gear out, get cracked on. And hopefully by the end of this video we should have both tanks fully mounted ready for the plumbing to get fitted into them and if you're interested in these water tanks I'll put a link in the description of the video as I do with everything that I fit in these conversions I do try and link to the items that I'm using so for the water tanks for the threaded bar fixtures fittings things like that check the description of the video below and that should go out to some eBay links where you can get similar tanks yourself so let's get cracked on. Right, so this is the fresh water tank that's about to be fitted. As you can see, it's got the uh, ventilation holes on the top just to relieve the pressure. It's also got baffles under the bottom as well, just to stop the water from sloshing around when you're on the move. I've got the holes drilled inside the chassis beams. I've got the threaded bar all cut down and the angular mounting bar that I'm gonna be using to mount it on. So now everything's ready to get mounted in. So I'll get the tools out, get this underneath the chassis beams, get it secured up and we'll have a look and see what it looks like when it's all in place. Right, so that's the fresh water tank mounted and fully secure and if I try and move it at all you can see it's just no movement it's literally bouncing the back end of the bus if I'm trying to move it it's that secure up onto the chassis itself now as I say I'm not going to be doing any of the plumbing pipe work at the moment this is just a case of trying to get everything mounted that needs to go onto the chassis itself while I've got full access before I start putting the flooring down
Right guys, so there we go. That is both the fresh water and the wastewater tank, both fully mounted, fully secure, not going anywhere at all. As I say, if I try and shake either tank to see if there's any movement, I'm just bouncing the actual chassis of the bus rather than actually moving any of the tanks. So as I say, they're really, really in, really tightly secured. So now I've just got to get the plumbing pipe work put in for them, but I'll be doing that way, way down the line after all of the flooring's in, things like that. I say I just needed to get these mounted while I've got nice easy access to the chassis. So at least they're in, that's another job ticked off. So now I can crack on with a few other different bits and bobs. Right guys, so it's the following day. Yesterday I mounted the water tanks that you saw earlier on in the video. It only took me one day to get those, uh, both of the tanks fitted in. So I've still got one day left of this weekend to crack on with additional work. So now I'm going to start insulating through all of the headlining and some of the side panels as well. I've got some insulation boards left over from the previous conversion that I did. I've also got some offcuts off my brother's recent conservatory roof replacement and those are the perfect length to span from side to side so I should have enough insulation going off the previous boards that I've got as well as the offcuts that I've got here to do the entire headlining all the way along and hopefully I should be able to get all the side panels replaced as well because on the last conversion all of the side panels beneath the windows had Kingspan insulation in but for some reason this time round it just had the really really cheap standard polystyrene sheets I don't like that stuff, I don't think it's good enough for insulation so all of that's been ripped out and there's going to be new insulation fitted all the way under all of the windows as well I've already got some of those cut down to shape so I'm just going to have to start cutting down some of these longer sheets for the roof lining start to get these stuck up and I'm going to be sticking them up in place with dabs of Sikaflex and aluminium foil just to be sure that they're not going to come down anytime soon and hopefully by the end of this video we'll have fully mounted water tanks and a fully insulated or pretty much fully insulated bus ready to be converted so I'll get some of these insulation boards out get them cut down to shape get them fitted in and we'll see what it looks like when it's all done Right guys, so that's all of the insulation on the ceiling up. As you can see, there's plenty of support just to hold them up in place while the Sikaflex sets. And all of the boards have just a few dabs of Sikaflex just to be sure that when they are up in place, they're not going to be moving anywhere. So now they're up, I'm going to be going around and applying some aluminium foil tape across all of the gaps and in between all of the actual supporting beams going across as well. Just so it's fully airtight, fully sealed up 
no gaps in between any of the boards or the boards and the supporting beams and then once that's done that's going to be the roof pretty much all fully insulated and then I should be able to take down the supporting little pillars as well so I'll crack on get this uh, foil tape applied to all of the boards especially where there's a couple of boards that have been put together as well just to be sure as I say that there's going to be no little air gaps going through so I'll get cracked on get all this applied and pick it up when it's all on Right guys, so that's the roof now all fully insulated. All of the insulation boards have got the foil tape joining them all together and in between all of the uh, actual roof beams as well. I see I'm quite happy and pleased with how all this has came out. This is fully insulated now. The only thing I've got left to do for the roof wise is just to put a couple of boards down the sides and they're gonna be getting put in and again foiled over just to make sure that they're all fully joined in as well. But while all of the Sikaflex dabs are just fully drying up on the ceiling while I've still got all of these props in place I'm going to now start replacing all of the side panels underneath the windows As I say in the previous bus that I did all of the panels under here were Kingspan insulation so they didn't need replacing But when I had a look behind here all of these were just standard polystyrene boards And I just don't rate polystyrene for its insulation Neither does the industry so I've taken all the polystyrene out as you can see already So I'm just going to be cutting some more boards. I've already started cutting a few down over there as you can see So I'm going to be cutting the boards down to shape sliding them in again a couple more dabs of Sikaflex just to stop any rattling and squeaking around So the six boards per side So I'm gonna to have to be cutting down 12 boards in total and then that will be all of the side panels under the windows fully insulated as well so I'll crack on and get some of these uh, panels cut down, cut to shape and we'll start getting these fitted in under the window.
Right guys, so that will be it for this episode of the campervan conversion series. I fit the two water tanks and off camera I've actually swapped one of the tanks over because when I was looking at them I was just thinking one of them just looked far too small for what it should have been and that's because I've got six water tanks in my garage all waiting for future conversions and when I brought the tanks out I brought a smaller one out than I should have so that's the 70 litre waste that's the 100 litre fresh water it's been fitted exactly the same as you saw earlier on I just lowered the old tank down fitted the new one up with new bracing exactly the same method the same principle so I didn't bother filming it as I say 70 litre fr uh, waste 100 litre fresh water that's the water tanks fitted in I've also fully insulated all of the headlining as you've seen as well all of the panels beneath the windows on both sides have been fully replaced as well you can see behind that panel there as well it's all been done and I've just had a delivery of plywood so I can now start building the floor back up as I say that's all of the headlining fully insulated all of the panels underneath the windows fully insulated and two water tanks fully mounted 70 litre waste 100 litre fresh so that's a good weekend's work for me so I'm going to call the update here for this particular part of the series so I'll follow back next week next week I'll probably be fitting an underslung gas tank into that area on the chassis again it's going to make sense to try and get these types of things fitted while I've got full access to the chassis it's just going to make things so much easier and get fitting a lot quicker so tune back next week as I say there'll be the underslung gas tank getting fitted in next week and then from there on afterwards we should be starting to get the full conversion built back up now I've got my delivery apply I can start getting flooring laid things like that so I hope you found this video useful if you're looking for any of the things that are fitted, like the water tanks, the bracings, insulation, things like that, there should be links in the description of the video below. So have a look in the description below. There should be links going off to eBay for similar items that I've been fitting in here. So as I say, check those links, give the video a good old thumbs up, as I say, and hopefully pop back next week and follow along with this conversion as it progresses week by week. Thanks for watching. Cheers.